Hey, so I heard you wanted to make some music, but you don't know where to start. Well, I'm here to help you, and in this video I will show you what gear and equipment you need to start making music in five levels of increasing complexity. Level one, pen and paper. The most important thing you need to create music is a sound source. An instrument, your voice, or any other sound producing object. But the second most important thing you need is something to record your ideas with. Because without that, you won't be able to reproduce your songs. The easiest and cheapest way to record your ideas is to simply jot them down using a piece of paper and a pen. And having the ability to quickly jot down something can help you capture those elusive ideas that can all of a sudden appear when you least expect it. You don't have to know how to read and write music to do this. Just scribbling down some chords and lyrics can be enough to make complete songs. And if you do know how to write your music, you can capture the melodies too. This is obviously the cheapest way Way of making music. The benefit of having your ideas in writing is that you can save and organize your ideas for as long as you want and you can get an easy visual representation of your ideas but the downside is that in order to share or listen to your music it requires you to play or sing your songs every time you want to share them. Level 2 sound recorders. The next step is to actually capture the sound of your music and there are many ways of doing this. Most of us are walking around with a sound recorder in our pockets at all times like this. And your phone is a great way of capturing ideas quickly. By using voice memos, you can easily hum, play, or sing your ideas into your phone, tablet, or computer. But even though the microphones of these devices have gotten way better than they were in the past, you will still experience a fairly low audio quality. If you want to record a demo, samples, or a jam session with friends, you can use a recorder like this. These recorders can record stereo sound in excellent quality with their built-in microphones. Or you can connect external microphones or instruments and record several channels at the same time. They also let you monitor your sound in real time through headphones, so you know exactly what the input sounds like. And an added benefit is that they can be used as audio interfaces, which we'll cover later in the video, so you can record directly into your computer or even your phone or tablet in high quality. Level 3, apps. So far we looked at simple ways to capture and record ideas and single takes. But if you want to process your sounds, layer your recordings and add effects and virtual instruments, you need some sort of digital audio workspace or DAW. In the recent years, a ton of different phone apps have emerged where you can make and produce full songs. Although they can't fully replace a computer and a professional DAW, you can come a long way using these apps and it's a great introduction to how music software works. Some great and reasonably priced apps are GarageBand for Apple, the free app BandLab, which also has a cloud-based library so you can export stems and MIDI files across devices and software, FL Studio Mobile, and sample-based apps like Flip Sampler and IMPC. These apps can be used without an audio interface, but if you want an audio input other than the built-in microphone, you may want to use an audio interface. There are several audio interfaces made specifically for mobile devices. For example, this iRig Solo interface that allows you to connect electric guitars, synths, and microphones to your tablet or phone. If you have one of these recorders, you can also use it as an audio interface with your mobile device to record external instruments or vocals in high quality. Most mobile devices are also compatible with MIDI controllers, so you can easily connect your phone or tablet to a MIDI keyboard like this Akai MPK3 and use the virtual instruments in the apps. However, these apps do have some limitations, and adding the finishing touches to your songs can be a bit clunky. But they can take you a long way and be a great introduction to the basic functions of music software. Level 4. Computer and DAW. The ultimate tool and the brain behind any modern music studio is your computer and your DAW. There are a few different DAWs available. The most common ones are Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, which is only for Mac, and FL Studio. You also have some free DAWs, and Cakewalk is one example. And for those who like to customize their software to fit their own needs, the open source DAW Reaper is a great option. Personally, I use Ableton Live as I find the workflow to be really fast and intuitive, and the stock plugins are great and easy to use. You can also find free or cheap trial versions of most of these DAWs, so you can try out the basic functions before you commit. In addition, you will need an audio interface so you can have instrument and microphone inputs and record your sound. 
and a headset so you can hear your sound clearly and in detail. The handheld recorders and the mobile device audio interface as mentioned earlier also work great with your computer, but if you want a more permanent setup, an audio interface like this Focusrite 2i2 or Claret Plus can cover most of your needs. And with the added benefit of letting you easily connect more outputs and inputs. Level 5. Home Studio. If you made it this far, you're probably ready to commit to a full home studio. You already have everything you need to make music, so from here on it's all about expanding your toolbox. The first step will most likely be to get a pair of stereo speakers, so you can easily switch between headphones and speakers, because headphone fatigue is real. Having good MIDI keyboards can also speed up your work process. I personally like having a full 88 key MIDI keyboard, and because I'm using Ableton, an Ableton Push 2. The Push 2 is a full software controller that lets you move away from the computer screen and have a more hands-on experience. And from there, the sky's the limit. You can add synths, microphones and instruments until the chickens come home to roost. Only your needs, and maybe your budget, is the limit. So by now, you should be ready to crank out some good tunes. But remember that whatever equipment you have, your ideas are what matter. Most of us start out small with maybe a guitar and a piece of paper, and as our needs and enjoyment increases, we gradually upgrade our equipment. Just have fun with it and see how far your equipment gets you. I put some affiliate links in the description if you want to check out some of the equipment in this video. A small percentage goes to me if you want to support the channel, and if not, I have included the name of the devices so you can look them up by yourself. As always, I would love if you left a like, Tell me in the comment section if you think I missed something, and if you're curious about the different kinds of MIDI controllers, you can check out this video right here, where I compare different MIDI devices and how they work.